going to be doing an experiment involving centripetal force. In this experiment, I used one foil tray, eight 29 inch two strings tied to the foil tray by a hole acting like a handle, four plastic cups filled with half a cup of water, and I put the cups in each corner of the tray. My hypothesis is that when I remove two cups of water from the tray, the centripetal force will not be strong enough and the water will spill out. I have asked my assistant to spin the tray of water cups so I can explain what is happening. As you can see, when the tray goes upside down, the H2O does not fall, fall out of the cup. This is due to centripetal force. Now we are going to remove two cups out to see if the weight will affect the centripetal force. As you can see, it does not. What is centripetal force? Centripetal force is any motion in a curved path which represents accelerated motion and requires a force directed to the center of the path. This force is called centripetal force, which means center seeking force. Centripetal force has magnitude. The formula for this is centripetal force equals velocity squared over radius. Swing mass on a string requires string tension, and the mass will travel off in a tangential line if the string breaks. For example, if in my experiment, if one of the strings broke on my tray, then the water would fly off. The centripetal force is proportional to the square of velocity, implying that doubling of the speed will require four times the centripetal force to keep it the motion in the circle. This explains centripetal force. My hypothesis was incorrect. As shown in the experiment, removing two cups of water did not affect the centripetal force. The water did not spill out.